Do you want to make a perfect snowman using any kind of snow in any temperature? Or maybe you're dreaming of creating a really unique snow sculpture. Then the snow sculpture bag is the product you've been waiting for. This is how it works. Before you begin, unfold the snow sculpture bag and identify the top and bottom. The top is the side without logos, while the bottom has logos and small but very important tarp flaps. Okay, let's get started. Step 1. Create a flat and stable surface for your snow sculpture by packing the snow as hard as you can at your chosen spot. Step 2. Start at the top and roll down the sides of the bag, just like you would do when rolling up a shirt sleeve. Stop when there is about 1.5 feet or 45 centimeters left. Step three. Place the bag on the ground and do your best to fold out the tarp flaps inside the bag. This is a bit awkward and it probably looks like it will never work, but don't worry, the bag will take shape once you start filling it with snow. Step four. Make sure that you do not see the black seam from the outside. If you do see it, fold in the bottom part of the bag so that the black seam is no longer visible. Step 5. Begin filling the bag with snow. Start at the sides and work your way around, making sure the snow lands on top of the folded out tarp flaps. This is a very important step because these flaps are there to keep the bag from leaking snow at the bottom. While filling up the bag, also keep an eye on the bottom. If the black seam pops out, or if the bag starts leaking snow, stop what you're doing and fold the bottom part of the bag in again. Step six. Fill up the bag with more snow and use your hands to pack it hard. Continue filling it up and packing the snow until you have about one foot or 30 centimeters of packed snow in the bag. Step seven. Now it's time to straighten up your rather shapeless bag and also line up the inside flaps with the ground. Carefully tug upwards on the side of the bag until you just see the black seam near the bottom. Do this all around the bag until the entire black seam is visible from the outside. and lined up as close to the ground as possible. Step eight. Continue filling up the bag, rolling up the sides as you go, and packing the snow hard. While packing, watch out for wrinkles. Smaller wrinkles are inevitable and not a problem. But if you see a really big wrinkle, it's best to fix it. Simply remove the snow on that side until you can fill up the hole that caused the wrinkle. Step nine. When the bag is about two feet or 60 centimeters tall, it's a good idea to check if it's standing straight. If it's not straight, fix it by carefully lifting up one side and pushing in snow under the bag until it's straight.
Step 10. Continue filling up the bag with snow. After every foot or 30 centimeters of snow you put in, stop and pack the snow as hard as you can. The harder you pack the snow, the better. So, don't hold back. When you reach the top of the bag, you're all done. Step 11. If you are dealing with very unfavorable snow or temperature conditions, you may want to let the bag stay on overnight, but usually you can just unzip it right away. After unzipping, Carefully pull out the flaps and remove the bag. Repair any holes caused by pulling out the flaps. And then stand back and admire your beautiful cylinder of snow. Step 12. Now it's time to inspect the snow quality. If the snow feels porous, which is common when it's really cold, or if you're doing a sculpture with a lot of details, it's best to wait a few hours or even let your snow cylinder stay overnight to let the snow crystals freeze together more. If the snow seems fairly solid and you're doing a snowman or another simple sculpture, you can start right away. Step 13. Start sculpting. But what? How about a classic snowman or snowwoman? If you want to try something a bit more advanced, an ice cream cone made of snow looks pretty impressive. And tasty. And if you want a real challenge, you can even stack two snow cylinders on top of each other and attempt a taller sculpture, like this fancy medieval tower. The possibilities are endless. Give it a try and have fun.